Well, welcome back, everybody. It was a cold start across the area this morning, and I asked many of you on Facebook, uh, how cold did it get at your house? And these are some of the comments. Now, some of the coldest temperatures were all into the 30s. In fact, Seminary at jo uh, Joyce Bullock's house was the winner. 37 degrees there. Uh, we made it down to 38 in Improve and in Greene County, Beaumont, and Hot Coffee, and Montrose all made it down right around 39 degrees. So it gives you an idea. This was some pretty chilly temperatures across the area. Now at my house, we only made it down to 42, but as you can see, it was definitely cold in some locations, but we warmed up nicely right now. 71 degrees out at Circle C Tractor in Waynesboro. Beautiful sunny skies, not a cloud in sight anywhere, and we're seeing more of the same in Hattiesburg. Petro Nissan, 72 degrees right now, a little bit breezier here. We got winds out of the northwest at five, but outside of that light breeze, we are looking good, and everybody for the most part into the 70s. The exception, Taylorsville and Oak Grove, both sitting at 68 and 69 respectively. Purvis, you're at 71 at the moment, 71 at Beaumont, 72 in Clara, and 74 right now in Columbia. A wider look across the southeast showing mostly clear skies across the great state of Mississippi. Northerly winds still continue to move that cool air from the north to the south, but we're going to see a wind pattern change as we go into tomorrow, and that's going to begin a warming trend. But we have one more night of cool weather across the area as temperatures fall back down into the 50s by 9 to 10 o'clock tonight. Overnight lows are going to bottom out into the upper 40s, 48 in Hattiesburg, 46 in so, so 46 in Clara. So it's going to be another cool start. You're definitely going to need a jacket as you begin your Wednesday morning. But look at the afternoon. Temperatures warm up fast. We start to see that wind come out of the south and that's going to begin to bring in some warmer air from the Gulf of Mexico. Low 70s by lunchtime tomorrow, mid 70s by the afternoon for your high and then notice we continue to warm things up. Eventually temperatures make it back up into the low 80s by Friday and into Saturday, but we are watching for maybe one chance of a few showers as we go towards Thursday night. Look at this. This is our best chance of rain really over the next seven days is this a weak front coming through here. Not a lot of moisture when it moves through our neck of the woods, but it really starts to uh, get more moisture uh, as it moves through Alabama and into Georgia. And that's where they'll have better chances of rain Friday. So because of that, I'm going to throw in a 20% chance of rain Thursday night. But outside of that one small front. We're not really looking at a lot of rain chances. Sunny skies Friday and Saturday. Sunday, we'll see some clouds move in as a weak system passes through. No big changes to our weather other than the clouds. Highs will stay into the low 80s as we go into early next week, and overnight lows will warm back up into the 50s for the remainder of your forecast. And the National Hurricane Center is still tracking the disturbance has a very good chance of becoming Tropical Storm Tammy over the next several days. Over the next two days, that has a 70% chance of developing. Over the next seven days, has an 80% chance of development. But you can clearly see what it's going to do. It's going to recurve like this, do these winds out to the uh, west of it. Uh, they're out of the southwest, moving to the northeast. So uh, this will never be a problem for us here in the Gulf or the United States in general. But it's something to watch. But the hurricane season is, I think, just about to come to an end. Guys? Oh.